Come on, Mama, you know the deal. Come on. Come on. I'll get you some hay when you get in the chute. You know the deal. Well, we're back doing this again. I have gone a day without locking her up, helping the calf nurse in hopes that as he got a little bit hungrier that he would maybe find the back quarters on this cow, but that hasn't happened. So I'm gonna get him in again today and help him again and we'll milk her down. He is nursing off of a front quarter, but I do just kind of feel sorry for the cow that her hind quarters get so full it makes it hard for her to walk so i would really feel a lot better if the calf started nursing off of those hind quarters it would be better for him it'd be better for her so that's what we're working on this won't take all day but it's where the day's going to start that's what's going on today on farmer tyler ranch Well, so far this is actually going pretty good. Um, he was a little bit, well, I wouldn't say difficult. He was a little less cooperative than normal getting hooked up onto that thing. But now that he's got it, he's staying on it pretty good. And I think today I'm gonna not try to milk her on the other side while he's nursing on this side. I wanna just kinda sit here and babysit him and make sure he stays where he's supposed to stay and but yeah so far he's doing pretty good that right there is something that i really have wanted to see him do and that is let go of the tee and then be able to get back on it without me helping him i think we are getting very close to these two being reintroduced back out into the herd um but we're just not quite there yet. Well, I didn't have the camera going, but you can probably tell. He tried to grab onto this one. I pushed his head away and he went right to the back one there. That's, that's what we want to see him do. He can figure it out. There you go. You had it. He just wanted to try the other side, I guess. I'm sure these dogs would love to meet you, but I don't know if you would love to meet them. Let's go back to Mama. Okay, go back to Mama. I got him latched on to both hind teats and he, he ate quite a bit and just looking at him, he doesn't look like he's empty. I think that he's been nursing off of that front teat uh, on his own this morning. You could just tell by the way it looked that he had been nursing on it. So 
he doesn't really seem that interested to eat much more and I'm not gonna try to force feed him, but I will go ahead and milk her down just to give her some relief and then in hopes that her bag lifts up a little bit while it's empty, that the next time he goes to try and nurse on her, he's got some options. I'm sitting here trying to milk this cow and this calf is just going all over the place, which is kind of uncharacteristic of him. Usually he just sticks right with us at the chute, but I guess that's how you know he's starting to feel better because he's starting to feel a little adventurous. Go back to mama. We're really gonna explore a little bit. For the record, I don't really care if he gets out here and explores and checks things out. I know he's not gonna go anywhere. But when he gets out of her sight, she starts getting antsy and dancing around in the chute because she gets nervous that she can't see him. So it's really a lot better for me if he would just lay at least somewhere where she can see him. That might be it. Yeah, I think we're pretty well empty now. Well, she's done. I feel like his belly is full. I'm not gonna give him a bottle uh, this morning at least. I might offer him one this afternoon. We'll see what, what her bag looks like. If it looks like he's nursed on the hindquarters, I probably will not give him a bottle, but you know, we'll just have to see. And I know a lot of people are thinking as long as I give him the bottle, I'm kind of delaying this uh, process from happening. And you might be right, but um, it's important to make sure that we know the calf is still getting enough to eat. So it's kind of a balancing act, but I think we're making progress and I, I think eventually this will work. Hey dude, what are you doing in there? You found a good spot to hide? Well, it's time to go back. Yeah, oh, so you can see his, his belly is pretty full, so. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Sorry, this is difficult to film. But stay in there. Yeah, it's a little muddy right here. You can see now he kind of runs away from me. Whereas before, he didn't do that. He would, uh, he would actually come to me when he saw me a lot of times. So the fact that he's running from me now tells me in his mind, he doesn't need me for anything anymore. So, it's a good indication. Now watch, I won't even have to push her. She'll come right around, right back in here. Well, that's done for another day. Pretty big difference here from the side of the wire that they can't get to, to the side that they can. And I need to get these guys moved. They are getting a little bit low on grass where they're at and we're gonna set up a new paddock here for them in this untouched grass that they ought to be really happy to get into. Don't wanna forget to turn the energizer off. Hope this spool's gonna reach.
These calves have been intently watching me the whole time. I've been putting the new wire up and I think it's pretty safe to say they figured out what's going on. So let's not make them wait any longer. Let's go get the wire turned back on before they figure out that it's off. So why put those yearlings in a new paddock rather than run them up to the steer pasture where the feed is tall, plentiful, and ready to go for them? Well, it's because I need to get individual weights on them before I send them up there. And in order to do that, I need to get my new squeeze chute set up. And in order to do that, I need to wait for my new concrete slab to cure. But I have been thinking about this because really to let this cure completely is gonna take in the neighborhood of 30 days and I really don't wanna wait that long. I could maybe get away with drilling into it to anchor the load bars down after like seven days to two weeks. But again, I really don't wanna wait that long. So I think what I can do because I really just need to run yearlings through there. They're not very heavy. I think I've come up with an idea. And that is, I think I can take the load bars for the scale, bolt them to the chute like they will be eventually, and just set that on the slab without anchoring it into the slab. I would probably have to do some shimming or what have you just to make sure it's not uh, rocking you know, back and forth. It really depends on how flat that slab is and how everything came out. but. I assume I'll have to shim it a little bit, which is not a big deal. But the real reason that you would even want to anchor the load bars to the slab is so that if somebody comes flying through the chute and slams into the head gate, that it doesn't move the entire unit on the slab itself. And these yearlings are not powerful enough to do that. So not to mention the fact that I think the design of the arrow equip kind of discourages that behavior anyway, because it doesn't create a view that you know, makes the animal feel trapped. It's a lot more open and they assume that they can just walk right through it. So I don't think we're gonna have a lot of the running and crashing into the head gate like we had before. And if by some crazy reason, one of those steers or heifers is strong enough to do that, then I can always just move it back. I mean, there's only 13 of them, I think, that need to go through this thing. Um, so I don't think we're gonna have any issues. And then after the shoot sets there for the required amount of time, then I can come back and put the redheads in the slab and then I'll be done with it. I poured the slab here on Tuesday and I'm thinking if I set a goal to place the shoot here next Tuesday, then that obviously means this had a week to cure. And I think in that amount of time, it'll be plenty strong enough to hold that shoot, the load bars, and then the weight of one yearling. I actually got concrete that's a little bit stronger than normal. I paid for a six sack mix as opposed to a five sack mix, is, which is what is average or normal for them. I don't know a lot about mixing concrete, so that doesn't really mean a, a lot to me, but if you do know about concrete, then maybe you understand it better than I do. What I do know is a six sack mix is stronger, and I think that as thick as the slab is that we're already kind of overkill. So giving this a week to cure before placing the chute on it, I think is going to be fine. And then giving it the full 30 days before drilling into it and uh, tightening down the anchors, I think will be good as well. And while I'm down here, I may as well spray it again. I've been trying to spray this down twice a day and keep it covered. Uh, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it's just once a day, but still, every time I pull the plastic up, it is still wet under there, or there's some moisture on the slab still. So I think that the plastic sheet is doing a good job of keeping things wet, 
slowing down the cure time and if you're unaware the point of doing that is to reduce cracking in the slab which you know they say all concrete cracks eventually it just wear um, but you know we'll just we, we try to prevent it anyway Another thing I want to do while we're down here is get the baby up and just see what he does. A lot of times with young calves, as soon as they get up from napping, the first thing they want to do is get up and nurse. And it looks like that's what he's going to do. And I just kind of want to sit, watch him and see what he does. First going to go for the dead one, of course. Well, he's really not showing me what I want to see, but he's also really not acting very hungry. He was stuck trying to nurse on that dead quarter, and, you know, it wasn't a real enthusiastic, uh, frantic nursing, so I don't think that he's all that hungry right now. He's probably still full from this morning. I'll come back and check on him again this afternoon and see if he shows me anything then. A little, little bit excited. Is he hungry? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay, so it's. Oh my gosh. Little does it have better. People have been asking about the bottle calves. I haven't really had them in a lot of videos because there's not really a lot to report they're getting a bottle in the morning a bottle in the evening and they are more than happy to get those the black calf here if you guys remember was having some trouble walking when we first got him in and now to look at him move around you would never know he was ever having problems so these two are doing great i don't know if i'm going to keep them here much longer i might take them over to the ranch uh, fairly soon just put them in with the other cows while continuing to bottle feed them but now that we've got them both up and going I, I don't know that there's really much reason to keep them here anymore they would probably be happier with the other cows Well, it's getting towards the end of the day now, and before I try to give this guy a bottle, I do want to see if he'll nurse on the mother a little bit, if they kind of can get together. We'll just see what he does. I can see without a doubt he's been nursing on both of the front quarters. Both of the hind quarters still look untouched to me. Well, there he goes. He's got that front one, no problem. We'll, I guess, watch him for a minute, see if he goes for a back one. The good news is that the mother kind of seems to accept me being in the pen with them a little bit better now. Whereas before, when I tried to do this, I had to be very cautious around her because she didn't like me being in here and messing with her cap. She seems kind of okay with it now. She definitely likes to keep a close watch on what we're doing, but she doesn't seem agitated or aggressive like she used to. That's from you. That's your milk. It's funny because he nurses a bottle like he would nurse a bag. And what, what I'm saying is, you know, he drinks a little bit and kind of lets go of it and messes around with it a little bit. And, you know, he's not all that, uh, he's not all that urgent with the way that he nurses. Unlike a bottle calf 
that once they latch onto that bottle, they more or less will just finish it without taking a breath. Well, we got uh, just under a pint left, so we didn't finish it. Uh, and I know a couple bottle calves that'll finish it for me. And I think we're to a point with him that I can start doing assisted nursings in the chute like every other day. Uh, the reason that I was doing it every day and not willing to take the chance of skipping a day was because he was so skinny and had gone so long uh, without that I just, you know, not only were we feeding him to like keep him alive but we were feeding him to sort of bring him back up to where he should be and honestly he's probably not quite there yet in his body condition he still looks a little bit skinnier to me than like what the other calves out in the pasture look like that are around his age but he's showing behavior that tells me that he is feeling better and i think that he has reached a point where if he does get a little bit hungry that's not a bad thing because it will encourage him to search around her bag a little bit more and find those hindquarters like he finds them when she's in the chute i know that he can do it i just want to confirm that he will do it out here by himself before i turn him out so it is a lot of work but we are making progress and as you know as long as he keeps trying i'll keep trying to help him Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.